On my mission to watch more horror horror, I decided to watch the 1959 film The Mummy. This is directed by Terence Fisher and written by Jimmy Sangster. And we have Peter Cushing as John Banning and Christopher Lee as The Mummy. And I will say the mummy scenes are really great. The design of the mummy is not necessarily what I was expecting, but it works quite well. The narrative is kind of what you'd expect. We have these archaeologists at the end of the 19th century and they discover this tomb and somehow a curse is unleashed. And I won't say exactly how it happens, but I think that part of the narrative made sense. It was quite compelling. I thought everything, you know, fitted together nicely. And I was kind of interested to see what would happen with this mummy. But I feel like the pacing is not that great. And the mummy is not in it anywhere near as much as I would have liked. That's not to say I wanted the mummy in every scene. That would seem a bit ridiculous. But it felt like we just didn't get enough of the mummy. I wasn't that emotionally invested in any of the characters' journeys, so I, I just didn't find the characters themselves that interesting. They're not badly acted, but I don't think they were the best written characters. And a lot of the scenes without the mummy were kind of stale and, and not very interesting and very slow to progress. It's not you know every scene. There are some where I thought were, were better than others and a little bit more interesting. But honestly, I didn't think the film itself was that engaging, except when we had The Mummy. Christopher Lee did an amazing job. The Mummy looks great. Absolutely not what I was expecting. I was expecting a, a slightly different appearance, but what we got was actually so much better. And there's this one scene where The Mummy comes through a window. And you'll know which scene I mean. It's, it's one of the earliest scenes, I think. And it's just fabulously done and so brilliant. And quite frankly terrifying. If you were in that situation, it would be horrifically scary. Because if you can't get out of the room and the mummy's coming in, what on earth can you do except nothing? And I absolutely loved that bit. And there were other bits with the mummy that I thought were great. With regards to how the narrative ultimately ended up, I think it took a, a, a reasonable journey. There's also the, this part of the narrative that focuses on this Egyptian princess, which I think gave it another dimension, rather than it, than it just being about a mummy we have a bigger motivation and, and I think that, that that part of it's very well written. It's a very good concept. The execution of the narrative is not as great. But it's not, you know, it's not a terrible film. It's not like I didn't enjoy any of it. But certainly the pacing needed a lot of work and I feel like there's a lot of this that could have been either cut out or replaced with more scenes of the mummy. Because it just it definitely didn't feature the mummy anywhere near as much as I'd hoped. But what we got of the mummy, I, I certainly liked. If you're interested in hammer horror or 50s horror, then give it a go, particularly if you like Egyptian mummies, because there are certainly things in it that worked well. And I love that scene with the window. Um, so there are good bits, but it's definitely not my favourite.